Well, you have been able to hear those crews working around the clock since yesterday, jackhammering into that now solid concrete. But talking to those crews, they say the sound is much different up there. Up on the sixth floor. It's a very somber mood right now. But the sound, a mix. The recovery efforts contrasting the day's reality. It's eerie in some ways just to hear how, although there's a lot of work and there's a lot of noise going on, almost how quiet it is. Over. Matt Alter is the president of the Cincinnati Firefighters Union and says the rescue crews jumped into action immediately. There was no hesitation, no second thought about going up there right away. But it's just slow. It's a slow process. Urban search and rescue teams from Hamilton and Butler counties, plus a crew from Columbus, were breaking and breaching the concrete overnight using special equipment and technology to aid in the rescue turned recovery. Equipment that you, they use to break concrete, um, cameras that will be inserted into a void space to search that void space. Tom Lakehamp, who is the commissioner of the Hamilton County USAR team and an assistant chief with Cincinnati Fire, says crews will continue to work until the missing person is recovered. I, I'm just always motivated by their drive by their willingness to help. But he admits. It, it gets very frustrating at times. Nobody ever expects to go to work and not come home. You know, we're supposed to be celebrating the holidays with our families on Thursday, and this isn't something that we're supposed to be dealing with. Uh, but they're taking it in stride because they know that this is the job. And a lot of these recovery crews that have been out here working are actually some of the same crews that were up uh, helping with 9-11 and searching for people at Ground Zero. So uh, the, uh, Alter actually telling me that they are using some of those same techniques. These people are highly skilled, so they're going through all those things that they learned actually up in Ground Zero, doing that here to make sure that they can do everything and are trying to do everything they can to help recover this missing worker.